Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am Brandy, aka Mama Vapes and Diamond Paints. Hi everyone, I figured we could do a little whip and chat today. Um, still working on something sweet by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. Um, I just can't even tell you enough how much I love this canvas. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is just really, really, really nice to work on. Um, so yeah, that's what that's where we're at. I got a lot more done than I usually do the other day. Um, working full time, it's you know makes things go a little bit slower. So that's what I'm working on, and I'm going to be using. Um, the pin that I just did an unbagging for that I got from Custom Diamond Painting Pins by TJ on Facebook. Um, I will also post that in the description down below, but yeah, this pin is gorgeous. So I am going to use this today and my tray that I also will have linked. And actually I am going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 50 subscribers. Um, and I'm going to do the Patty Wax Bar, the Patty Wax Super Sticky, um, one of these trays in either pink or purple glitter. And um, I will post all the details to that here soon. Um, I want to kind of just give a little something to people who are subscribing to me to say thank you because I am a brand new channel. And, you know, I just, I really think that um, it's nice when you can show people that you appreciate their support. So I'm going to be doing that here really soon. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be a new channel, but it also, you know, it takes time to start getting people to know you, see you, or, you know, just know your channel and stuff like that. So. Um, I appreciate you guys so far though, and hopefully I can continue to grow and become a better channel and, you know, I hope we can have fun and I look forward to getting to know you guys and, you know, just meeting more people. This has been a lot of fun so far. Um, I've already enjoyed the people that I have, you know, kind of met through this community of diamond painting and crafting and all the fun things, all the stuffs and things. Um, I also just made like my own little diamond painting log book pages. Um, if I could pull it out without knocking everything over on my desk and without shaking my desk so bad. I'll kind of show you what I did and I have a three ring binder coming and I'm going to put these um, in the three ring binder so it kind of shows like a little bit of you know detail so when I'm unboxing things or giving you guys information it's easier for me to see um, it's easier for me to give you the details as I'm doing it so anyhow um, and then I also wrote down or um, printed out the stuff that Tima has on her Facebook group for the diamond painting with sparklers. Um, so that way I can keep track of the ones I have or what ones I want. I know there's one that I really want. I think it's fairy dust or something to that um, nature and she's out of stock and I want those super bad. I saw those uh, from Maritza on Kiss My Crafts. That girl cracks me up. She's so stinking funny. Um, so I just want to kind of keep a better, keep better track of what I have. And I'm going to put those in my binder. So when I get my binder today, I think it comes today from Amazon. I'll show you the actual binder itself so you guys can see how I put it together. So yeah, that kind of gives me a little better idea of what I need, want, or have. 
Um, I am using my new ring light that I told you guys about the other day and I did a little unboxing for that. Um, and that is, seems to add a little more brightness, so kind of helps out a little bit. Like I had said, my, my lighting in here isn't the best um, for making videos. It would be perfectly fine if it wasn't for trying to make videos. It's a great ceiling fan. I love it, but um, it's just not mm, the best lighting for videos, I guess, is the only thing I can say. So, anyhow. So, how's everybody's week been? Today is Tuesday, June 16th. Yep, Tuesday, June 16th. Um, I probably will post this in a day or two. It's been a bizarre week for me, or last few days, I guess, um, at work. I had, uh, Sunday I had a customer who, now, it, this is not, I don't want to say this is out of character for him because it's not at all. He has, um, I guess an issue with me because we do, like I had said before, I do run a vape shop. Vape shops are um, required by law, both state and federal, to ID every single person that comes in. You have to be 21 years or older to vape. Um, the laws are really strict about that. And we do follow the law to the T. And so I ID'd him as usual. And he decided that he was going to yell at me, cuss at me. Um, yeah, he wasn't very pleasant. Anyhow, I did really well. I kept my cool, although I had another customer in there who wanted to not keep his cool. He wanted to, like, um, I don't know how to say it, but he wasn't, he didn't want to be so nice because uh, he's actually one of my regulars. And luckily he kept his cool, I kept my cool. The customer who was yelling at me, his girlfriend was with him. She looked, I don't know, mortified, scared, everything. So I felt so bad for her that I kind of was just very short and sweet and to the point. One of my employees was in there. He was like, I cannot believe how calm you stayed. He said, I thought you were gonna snap, but I didn't. So I was very proud of myself. Um, but yeah, we are going to kindly let him know that if he ever acts like that again, he will no longer be needing to come into the store anymore because that's not fair to the other customers. It's not fair to my employees. It's just not fair to anybody for someone to act like that for literally no other reason than I was following the law. So yeah, that was interesting. And other than that, it was just pretty busy, which is good. Um, I like to be busy. I just have a lot to get done, especially Sunday and Monday. That's when I order everything for the shop. I order all the juice, all the mods, all the coils, all the things that we need. So yeah, that was, um, Sunday was just interesting. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what happened for me this week. Um, I'm just, I'm loving this pen. Emily, this thing is just gorgeous and it just feels really, really, really good in my hand. So again, I super appreciate the, the pen and I was really excited that I got to, you know, the opportunity to buy it because it was one of the, you had to, you know, say you wanted it and then you, because, you know, they're one of a kind and they only, I think he does this like, when he's not doing his regular job so you know this is like he he gets a few out when he can but um anyhow i was i just i'm really excited i got it this thing is gorgeous um until now my favorite pens have been from jim's um handmade pen shop on etsy and i still love my jim's pens i am not saying i don't so please don't say think that i mean that because his pens are just amazing but this is gorgeous and it, it has a different shape than my other ones and it just feels really, really nice. Um, so I am excited. 
I don't necessarily, like if I like something, like I like Diamond Art Club, so now they're my favorite, so I'll keep buying them, and then it's kind of hard to compare other companies because it's like, well, they're not the same, you know, as quality as Diamond Art Club, but I will tell you, Emily, you and TJ are on to something here because this thing is gorgeous, and he just started doing it. He did it for her. He did a pin for her. Um, I think he makes like duck calls or something like that. It's where, like kind of where he got the knowledge to do it and the ability to do it. And he just made her one for herself and she posted them and, or posted it and it was just gorgeous and you know, this was boring. So huh. uh, good for her. This thing is amazing. I don't even think they've made a ton, maybe a dozen or two so far. Yeah, they're doing a great job. Can't wait to see what other ones they come out with, you know? So anyhow, Saturday I um, kind of organized things in my craft room, kind of got, you know, stuff done. Um, and then I pretty much diamond painted for the, you know, rest of the afternoon and I went into some lives. I went to shine like a diamond live and then I went into Jeremy his life for a little bit but by then I had to get a few things done that night so I, I only I only caught his for maybe a half hour or so but he's really funny um <clears throat> shine like a diamond I was in hers for the whole thing and that was fun I don't get to go to the lives a lot like while they're you know in during the lives normally I have to do them on replay because I'm usually working or I have so much going on so yeah it was cool I'm hoping I can catch um more lives like as they're happening lives live if that if that's right um because it's fun to interact with everybody and I like seeing everybody's um comments as they're happening and I just uh, I really enjoy it I uh makes me a little bit bummed that I miss Mrs. Coffee's lives all the time I always work on Friday nights and um, her lives are always popping so you know maybe someday I'll be able to catch one maybe I'll take a Friday off a day off work that'd be weird I don't do that very often but um, yeah so I got to go into her life for the whole thing and everybody was just having a great time and um, it was a lot of fun hearing everyone's stories. We were talking about, uh, I don't even remember how it got started, but everybody was talking about middle names, and I said, oh, well, my middle name's Michael. It was supposed to be Michelle, but my mom spelled, spelled it wrong on my birth certificate, so I'm Michael instead of Michelle, but, you know, I guess it makes me a little bit more unique. Um, so... The funny part is that my husband's middle name is also Michael, so we're both, we both have the same middle name. Um, so that's funny, and then somebody else said that, I think she said it, I think it was her brother, his um, last name was spelled wrong on his birth certificate, so I thought that was interesting. So yeah, that's kind of fun to get to know like the little things that people have in common that are different you know like your middle last name being spelled wrong or you know stuff like that so it was it was cool had fun I wish I could go to lives more often um I tried to catch Crashly's live the other day and I just couldn't I just couldn't I couldn't get to her live in time so Again, like I said, hopefully I can start catching people's... Oh, hers was her Sunday social. I wanted to catch that. But I work on Sundays as well. Remember my story about the guy yelling at me? That was on Sunday. So, um, my dog's making all kinds of noise. Sorry. Um, so, that was um, what I was going to say about those lives, about the lives. <clears throat> Do you guys enjoy going to other people's lives to other creators or do you like prefer to watch them on replay I just wonder I'm hoping that I can get um, more subscribers and hopefully I can do some lives 
I feel like it looks like a lot of fun. Um, I didn't realize how much, I mean, and trust me, I've heard the creators say how hard, how much hard work it goes into making a channel. So I believed that it was hard work when I started mine, but you don't realize how hard, how much work and how hard things actually can be until you, you actually do it, until you're actually trying to do it. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's just a lot of, uh, it's time consuming. And there's a lot that kind of goes into it with like editing and, you know, trying to do all those kind of things. So I think my husband, it sounds like he's, I think he's putting away dishes, but holy moly, it sounds so loud in here. Um, so, uh, give me one second. I'm going to go see what he's doing. I don't know if he needs help. I'll be right back. All right. I guess he's just putting things away. Um, so yeah, they are. They're a lot of work and time consuming and a lot goes into them. So even for like a, a few minute video, it can take you an hour to do everything and then get it, you know, upload it, post it and all that. So, um, and then if you are doing like an unboxing or, or if you have things that, um, like I try and link the things that I'm using because, you know, I want to know. I know personally, like, I want to know where to get things from when I see something really cool. I'm like, oh, where'd you get that? So I'm trying my best to kind of keep you guys, um, keep things for you guys to find easier. Um, so, you know, it just takes a little while and I didn't realize how much time it took, how much effort went into it. So. I, my hats are off to all these amazing creators that have, you know, thousands of subscribers and, you know, I'm sure they get a ton of comments and questions and then going through and answering all that, those. Like I said, my hat's off to you guys. You guys have really, you guys make it look so easy. Um, but yeah, so, oh God, there was something I was going to tell you. Um, oh, the Elizabeth um, ward bead storage things that I'm using right here. So everybody's been talking on the Facebook groups lately that, that, um, the price went super crazy high on Amazon recently. And, um, now they kind of went back down a little bit, but, um, and I don't know if it's a hundred percent for sure or not, but I think, um, they said that they're not going to be, or at least the Darice the company isn't going to be making those anymore. I don't know if they're like coming out with a new version or updating it or what, but anyhow, um, consumer, cons one of the, one of the group, one of the, um, companies that sold them kind of closed their business. So they're not taking any more orders. And it's like, where do you find these now? I need more of these guys. I, I mean, like seriously though, I'm, I'm going to need more. Does anybody know where to find those other than I know that they are on, you can find a version of them on, um, AliExpress. I actually ordered one of them because, or one from there, because I really, really don't want to not have any more of these. I want to store my, um, like my sparklers and stuff like that from Tima and keep them organized in that. I just feel like it's a better organization system for me at least. Um, so I can find them and they're just, uh, I like to be organized. Um, and that just works for me. So I'm, but I, I'm worried sick about this guys. I'm worried sick. I need to find out where you can still get those besides from AliExpress and, you know, like triple the price on Amazon. So if anybody knows where else you can buy them, let me know. And I know Michael's and Joanne's sell them, but they're, really expensive from them too. Like I got them from Amazon a while ago when I first started doing this and they were like 20, 22 bucks, maybe 23, something like that. And, um, everybody said that was expensive. I'm like, well, I'm okay with paying that much, but I'm not okay with paying $40 for one of those things. That's insane. I even used, I even ordered one of the, um, one of the empty trays and I use it for like my, my whip box. So that way when I'm working, I have everything that I 
you know, need on a regular basis in there. And so it's very, um, like, I don't know, they're very handy. So if anybody knows where else to find those same things, let me know. Please let me know in the comments. Let me know where to find them. I um, would like to grab a few before they're not available anymore or if somebody has some insight or knows any information that maybe they're just redoing them or whatever the case may be so I can not be worried sick about this I would like to know so yeah so I don't know does anybody have any cool plans this weekend is anybody doing anything fun I know things are starting to open back up and people are you know going stir crazy being locked down for so long so does anybody have anything going on and anything fun anything good planned and if you do please let me know where you're from uh i have i mean like i had just stated a few minutes ago i do work on sundays so sundays i don't really have plans but saturday my son who moved out recently and his girlfriend are having us over to their place and um, cooking dinner and I think it will be fun and I'm excited to go do that. I'm excited to get out and have, you know, I don't know, just like something other than my four walls in my house and uh, my walls in my work to look at because it's a little boring. Like honestly, I could totally be fine with just crafting all the time. That wouldn't bother me, but since you know, I'm, since I have to do grown people things and like go to work and, you know, when I'm at home, you know, all the laundry and all the just things that you have to do. So it will be nice to get out and just do something different and enjoy my son and his girlfriend's company and um, all the fun things like that. So that is my only plan so far and I pretty much have work going on for the rest of the week so I have no other plans other than that because um, the only day I have off again I have Thursday off but um, I'll probably be doing another video on Thursday yay I'm starting to I feel like I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with doing videos Kind of like a weird thing because you don't really know like what you're doing at first so I feel like I'm getting a little more comfortable at least with that aspect talking to myself for a little while which was really strange for me at first so hopefully I get a little even a little more comfortable as it goes let me take a quick sip of my drink All right, a little bit of ice water. It's kind of warm today. It's not as hot as it's been, but it's kind of warm. It's been in the high 90s, but today it's only in the like mid 80s, but it's pretty humid, so it feels warmer. So, um, get super thirsty. And my favorite drink other than, I drink one white monster every morning, but, um, Usually I drink a lot of ice water. I don't really like room temperature water at all. I don't like room temperature drinks, period, but I love, love, love ice cold Dr. Pepper. That is like my favorite, but I'm out, so I'm having some ice water. So, yes, but you know, since we're asking for things back down in the comments, what's your favorite thing to drink? What do you enjoy drinking? Um, I'm not a fan of anything diet. I don't like diet Dr. Pepper, diet cook, nothing that's the diet. So it's always regular Dr. Pepper or no Dr. Pepper. Um, I just, I am not a big fan of the flavor in diet drinks, except the White Monsters for some reason. I don't know why that one doesn't taste, um, it doesn't taste like it has artificial sweetener to me, so that's the only thing I like that isn't 
that is like considered um, like artificial has artificial sweetener in it so um, yeah and I am getting some laundry done and I cleaned up the kitchen and cleaned up my bathroom well mine and my husband's bathroom um, in our master and that's kind of what my plans are consisting of today is getting some things done doing this um, trying to organize more of my stuff like I said I do have that binder when it comes I'll kind of do a quick video on it um, of how I'm gonna like try and keep things organized I'll, I'll probably won't post that until later on this week though and um, you know maybe I can give you guys ideas or maybe somebody can give me ideas that's always um, kind of the goal is to help each other make things you know just more simple or more organized or whatever works for whatever works better for you um, I again because I'm super new to this craft you know I'm still learning so I like hearing what other people have found to work better or easier or make their life simpler more simple I don't know what what's the right way of that simpler or more simple but whatever um, you know what I'm saying you know what I am trying to say and that's all that matters so if you guys have better ideas if you guys have tried things that work for you let me know I want to hear these things I like to know the things that make all the things easier I'm all about easy um, and even if that means it's more work in the beginning I'd rather it be more work in the beginning and make things easier in the long run like I know a lot of people have either love or hate store you know using the storage containers versus the baggies or what for me it's just so much harder to use the baggies even though it does take a little bit well it takes longer to kit, kit it up if you use storage containers but that works better for me because it in the long run it makes things easier for me even though it's kind of a longer process in the very beginning so I know that um there are certain uh, people that like Miss Coffee. She loves her baggie. She loves her baggies. It just makes it easier for her. And at first, I tried the baggie method when we first started because um, I didn't have storage containers in the very beginning, and it just was that is just it was such a pain to me. So I know everybody has their own way. I personally need it to be kitted up in containers and then I can just pull what I need instead of trying to look for everything little by little. So um, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys like to go longer or like the, you know, longer to get ready in the beginning to get everything organized or would you guys prefer it to be a little bit spread out over time like doing it through the baggies or whatever system you use? Um, like I said, I, I think it's all about unique um, preferences and I don't really think anything is a wrong way or a right way when it comes to that at all. I think that bottom line is that it is it is what works best for you personally since you are the one doing it. You're the one that uses the system. You're the one that's doing the craft. So everything should be what is what is best for you and what makes you most comfortable. So not about a it's not about the toilet paper in the right way or the wrong way because we all know over is the right way and under is the wrong way when it comes to the toilet paper this is all about preference what do you like best so um oh you know what I'm gonna tell you guys something um, I don't know if I'm gonna get like a little heat for this or not but I actually left a group yesterday um, because I was kind of bothered by how many people were justifying buying diamond paintings um, from AliExpress knowing that it was stolen artwork and it happened to be stolen artwork from um, Diamond Art Club from one of Mandy Manzano's um, well several of hers but it wasn't even that because I've seen that happen and usually people are like I didn't know or I'm so new that I had no I didn't know that was from you know an artist or I didn't know that you know diamond paintings could be legally licensed to an artist 
and all that. And you know, for those people who already bought it and they ordered it and they didn't know, I feel so bad for them because they usually end up feeling bad. And then I know that kind of can take the, I don't know, some of the joy out of it from me, like where you were so excited to get something. And then you're like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't, and, and I feel, I genuinely feel really bad for people who, who don't know, and then, like I said, it kind of takes some of the happiness out of them, and it's like, that's not, that's not what it should do, it should just make you more aware, so next time you don't, um, you don't buy from them, um, because I truly believe that the best way to, to get it to stop is to stop purchasing from the companies that sell not just per, and again this is my personal opinion um, but they said um, you know if you not just don't buy that painting in particular stop giving that company your money until they stop using stolen artwork like period just don't give that company your money because when they start losing money on things maybe they'll finally get the hint that they can't do that that's that's just not going to work and you know they're going to lose a lot of sales by doing it that way and maybe they'll they'll stop stealing artwork so um anyhow to continue with my story so it was just all these people that were justifying it they were they were completely saying stuff like well their paintings are too expensive at Dim diamond art club and stuff like that but it's uh give me one second i'm going to put you on pause so i can let my dog out give me one second Okay, I guess <clears throat> she didn't want to go out of the room. She just wanted to sit at the door. And she was looking at me so strangely when I went and opened the door for her. Um, so anyhow, like I was saying, it just bothers me when people say, um, like they make excuses and they try to justify it by saying, well, Diamond Art Clubs are, are so expensive. Well, Diamond Art Club, I, personally, I don't think that they're outrageously priced. I, I, I mean, I get that some, not everybody can afford it and I understand that and that's not, I'm not, you know, saying that, oh, well, it's cheap. It's not, but it's good quality. They pay their artists, you know, um, there's a lot of reasons why theirs are more expensive, not to mention doing business period in the U S is more expensive. It just is. So of course, with everything that goes into that they they have to charge more and I personally am willing to pay a little more for something that is a good quality that the artists are paid um, I mean I have ordered some on Aliexpress I'm still waiting for because like I said I am new and I want to show different stuff I want to show you guys different things I don't want to just show Dar Diamond Art Club even though I mean I again like I said I just really really love the quality I love what they offer but I do want to show some variety so I have ordered other stuff and when it comes I'll show you those but what I'm saying is like you know there are reasons behind why theirs are more expensive and they're not you know putting out bad quality paintings and then charging you an arm and a leg for them that's not even what's happening so at the end of the day it's like there there's are a little more but they're worth it at least in my opinion to me they're worth it they're worth the price that they are. So, um, you know, they're justifying it by saying, well, it, there's too expensive, you know, Diamond Art Club's too expensive. Well, then don't buy that painting. Buy a different one. Buy something else that isn't, that isn't um, licensed by somebody else and somebody stealing from them. I mean, that's just, it's not fair. Mandy Manzano is an actual live person and she seems super duper sweet. I mean, I've seen people do interviews with her and everything and she's, and I, I mean, I've actually talked like, you know, messaged with her back and forth on Facebook, um, in like comments and stuff. And I mean, she is just kind. It's like, I mean, and even if the artist wasn't kind, I, I mean, I probably wouldn't buy from somebody who was mean, you know, for no reason if they were just being ugly. Um, but I definitely still don't think it's okay to steal someone's artwork. It's it's just not right. So then to sit there and make excuses and try and justify that. And so many people in that particular group were doing it. I was like, you know what? I can't. I'm just done. I'm, I have too many good groups that um, I am a part of to waste time or energy in a group that is okay with, you know, members 
justifying stealing from someone. So, and, um, so I just left the group. I'd rather be a part of groups. And again, it's about a difference of opinion. You don't have to, you don't have to sit there and love Diamond Art Club. They don't have to be your favorite. You don't have to do any of that. And that doesn't bother me. It was just the simple fact of how they were all, so many people were justifying it. And that really bothers me. So I left that group. Um, and I, I'm not, I don't usually leave group to groups very easy because I'm usually pretty much a live and let live like if they're not bothering anybody don't bother them and you know you can scroll past a comment but there was just so many of them that were okay with it so I just thought my energy was better with um the good groups and the good creators and the other good members of the other groups that I could just do without the other group that was being ugly so yeah that just is a uh, kind of a pet peeve of mine. I don't agree with theft um, of property like that where you're you're stealing something that belongs to somebody else. And um, to me, it's really no different than somebody stealing your paycheck or somebody stealing, you know, the, like when they hack bank accounts, that's no different. They're stealing money from you and that I'm not okay with. So for me, I choose not to be, um, a, oh, I keep ghost drilling, um, I, I would prefer just not to associate with that. So I left that group and like I said, I have many, many, Abby, I have many, many groups um, that are, well, I mean, a, you know, a handful of groups that I'd rather spend my time and my energy getting to know those people who are really you know kind and good and again difference of opinion is one thing but that's something totally different so yeah I don't know how you guys feel about that and um, if you don't agree with me that's okay I'm okay with that I'm totally okay with having a difference of opinion um, but if you you know try and justify it I'm not okay with that I just I don't like it so, um, I, like I said, I do have a few, um, paintings coming from AliExpress, but, you know, that, things already take a long time, you know, to come from, like, AliExpress and stuff, so I already know it's going to be a while, but also with everything going on, it takes even longer, so whenever those do show up, I will definitely be doing some unboxings on that, um, and show you guys what I got. And then I did order some, a little bit of washi tape from AliExpress as well. I have, um, I don't know, maybe like, uh, less than 10, maybe 10 things of washi tape. Cause they were cute and they were so cheap, like uber, uber cheap on there. So I have some of that coming eventually and yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm kind of starting to get, I guess, get the hang of the way AliExpress works a little bit better. At first it was very confusing and I wasn't quite sure how the ordering process was in there. So, yay. Ooh, ooh, I saw a couple people that have completed this in one of my groups that I'm in on Facebook and... Ooh, I cannot wait to get done with it. It is so gorgeous. This thing just is, it's so pretty. And I know it's going to be a little um, uh, bittersweet when I'm done and I give it to the person I'm doing it for because it's gorgeous and now I want it. But it's okay. I know it keeps coming back in stock so I can always order it again for myself if I want to. But right now I have... Um, I have plenty to do for myself and I think I just really enjoy working on the diamond painting so much that it's going to be just like when I start the next one I'm going to feel the same and I don't know what one I'm going to start on next I'm I'm not quite sure I kind of want to I have several of them I want to start I really want to start on um my love at its darkest um that I've you know been dying for so 
but I also like the world map and the colors are kind of, it does have a lot of color in it, but it also has the background is um, more like a peach and tan colors. So that's kind of a little bit different than this one that I'm doing right now because this one is so bright and cheerful and colorful. So I don't know. I don't know. I might have to, you know, have, have my husband pick or pick numbers out of a hat or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to, how I'm going to decide that. So, yep, I don't know, but anyhow, you guys, I just wanted to say hi and chat with you for a few minutes and kind of tell you what's been going on with me. Um, I do have a couple of videos that are coming, and um, if my binder and everything gets here from Amazon today, I will make that quick little video today too and show you what I have going on. If not, I will make that on Thursday. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope your week is good and I will see you next time. If you want to see more videos, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when I put up my next videos. Bye guys. Earlier today I did a whip and chat and in the whip and chat I said that I was um, waiting on a binder to come from Amazon and a few things because I'm going to make my own little diamond painting log book and a section for like the sparklers from Tmall and all that to keep me more organized. I said when it came I would um, do an unboxing and show you guys and it came. So, hold on one second, my camera's going to shake. Really bad, sorry about that guys. This is what we got. I'm going to take everything out of the box and then I'm going to put it on the desk and show you so my camera stops shaking. Okay, so I did get one of another one of these because um, they're selling out everywhere. Um, it's the um, Elizabeth Ward bead storage. Um, I'm planning on using one of these to organize my sparklers. So there's that. I got a three hole punch so I can punch my sheets that I've made. I got eyeliner. We don't need to look at that. Um, and then I got pins. Everybody needs pins. And I got this cute little three ring binder. So what I'm planning on doing is we'll just take a one for an example for my log. And then I also have um, like uh, the page separators coming as well, but they're not here yet. And I plan on doing like um, a section for the sparklers, a section for diamond paintings. I may possibly do like um, separations um, from like AliExpress diamond paintings, you know, Diamond Art Club diamond paintings to kind of keep them organized a little better for me. So that just is going to depend on how I see when I get them and how I feel like what's going to work best. So this looks like it's going to be about right if I'm doing it this way. And then I'm just going to keep them in here with the organizers in the middle of everything, keeping everything lined up. So that's what I got. Now I have all my sheets I have to hole punch and get them put away in there, organized. So today was my Amazon order of these things and um, I'll put a link to everything that I got um, in the description so you guys can see what I got. I got them all on Amazon. Everything here was from Amazon. Well, you guys saw it come out of the box. Sorry. Um, so I will link it all though so you can see where or what it was from um, and you know order it yourself. I know these um, keep going up and down in price. Now my dog's hitting the table. Sorry, Abby. Look, Abby. Um, 
so I got it it wasn't too bad but then when I looked again they went back up so uh, I don't know I, I don't even know what to say about those anymore I'm gonna be sad if they don't make them anymore anyhow I hope you guys have a great night and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified anytime I post a video. Bye!